goals, 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 2019 goals. Hello. Instead of talking about my own cosplay resolutions, today we're going to have a little conversation about you guys. So you guys know that I'm goal-orientated, AF, ATM, but it always wasn't like that. I wasn't always the zen, focused, self-centered slot that I am today. Back in high school, I had a teacher who asked us to write down New Year's resolutions for ourselves. Not to turn in, but just to keep. And I literally wrote on mine, kill less people. I'm on that kick myself. And I hope to always be on the self-improvement journey. Hopefully you guys will take that journey with me because today I'm going to give you 50 cosplay New Year's resolutions for 2019. My gift to you. Okay, are you ready? Let's do this. Invest in the tools you keep borrowing from your friends. You'll be amazed at how affordable you can find a heat gun at Harbor Freight with right coupon and just a little tenacity. Throw away the scrap pieces of war blood that you keep in a plastic bag for some reason. I know it's expensive, but you're not going to use it if you haven't used it the past year. Take it, throw it away. Start a cleaning routine for your creation space. I have this lovely glass desk that gets very dusty, so about once a week I just have to go at it and it's usually the day before I have to shoot a video. Throw away janky brushes, dull needles, hot glue guns that are just dying. Throw it away. Start a Patreon. Start a blog. Make a Ko-Fi. Even if money isn't a problem for you, consider donating money to a charity that you really hold special to your heart. Learn how to market yourself as a cosplayer like a boss. Learn how to up your makeup game. This applies to you too, guys. You will not believe how a little contour and a like a little eyeliner will just bring you so far in the cosplay world. Volunteer with your cosplay for good! Make a cosplay that you can volunteer with that's a little bit more recognizable in the real person world. Stop con crunching if it stresses you out. Start working on your cosplay a little bit throughout the year. Coordinate and organize a group shoot. Make this year the year that you find a convention buddy. Remember, remember to eat during con crunch and remember to eat during convention weekend. Make a budget and stick to it when you attend conventions. Unfollow negative cosplayers, those who complain about everything and stir the pot and make drama where there shouldn't be drama. This isn't so much a cosplay resolution, it should just be like a life resolution. But I am a firm believer in that and that is just sloth wisdom for you. Start following social media accounts that only inspire you and make you think. Preferably cosplay ones. Hi. Learn one new cosplay skill this year. I have made it a point to never touch steel boning and you know what? This year might have to be that year. Or I just might quit and cry and just work on wigs. You never know with me. Make something amazing this year that you can look back on in December of 2019 and think, oh my god, that was just a dream and now it's a reality and I killed it. Perfect one skill you already have so that your friends may only refer to you as master. I'm really good at making cosplay boot covers, but I'm not a master at it. So maybe this year might be the year. Reach out and go to more cosplay meetups, even if you don't know anyone. As long as they're in a safe location, in a very public location, you're going to be fine. And you're going to meet a lot of friends along the way when you do that too. Start saying no to cosplans and groups that you really don't have any investment into or like your whole heart isn't into it. Say yes and to impromptu photo shoots and just like social events. Just try to practice being extroverted for at least a small increments of time because so many doors of possibility open up when you just open yourself up to the possibility of yes and. Organize your cosplays so that nothing is guaranteed to get broken or ripped or stained or torn. Improve the cosplays that you like that maybe have like some uncomfortable aspects of them and make them more comfortable so they're more enjoyable to wear like replacing boots or creating like a cooling system in a really hot suit. Stick to three cosplays that you know you're going to finish this year if it kills you. Mine are pretty chill because I want to finish Bombshell Supergirl and she's about a third of the way done already but she requires steel boning and that's going to be a struggle. Captain Marvel and I just want to update Power Girl so she's like X100 perfect. Post every day on your fan page. Start a cosplay club at your local library where you guys can meet up once a month for a couple hours and it can be open to anyone from young aspiring otakus to old veterans of the craft. Develop a monthly cosplay budget. Update and replace wigs that need to be laid to rest. And now their watch has ended. Upgrade your favorite cosplays. 
Learn a skill that your character has so you can cosplay with that skill. I'm looking at you Star Wars fans that always play with their lightsabers. Whoa, that was way dirtier than I intended it to be. What I mean though is like, if you're, you're a nice cosplayer, learn how to skate, learn how to be able to stand on two skates on the ice to take photos or whatever without eating shit. Or if you're like a Harley Quinn cosplayer and you just want to like learn how to do the splits so you can be cool in the con floor, that's cool too. Learn a skill. Do the skill. Be the skill. Focus on making friends, not followers. Start a fan page for yourself. If you already have a fan page for yourself, consider making a cosplay Facebook group that you can manage and just connect with more cosplayers. Start a YouTube channel and do cosplay makeup tutorials or do progression videos on your cosplays. Do armor builds. Do whatever you think you're good at. I'm good at talking about cosplay. Here we are. Upgrade furniture in your work area. This janky chair has got to go. Be more organized pre-convention. Unpack your bags. You're going to save yourself so much time and energy asking yourself, where is this one thing when really it's in your suitcase that has been there for a week? Start bringing healthy snacks and frozen dinners to conventions with you for convention weekend. Try to make it a goal to only eat out once a day during convention weekend because that eating out really adds up. Trim down your cell phone usage when you're working on projects. Put time aside every week to work on your cosplay. And this could be something as simple as working an hour a day on a really big project or even working out so you can look better in your cosplay. Can you tell this hobby has like eaten up my life? Segue, start working out so you can look and feel more like your favorite characters. Create a convention bucket list and then knock off one of those conventions this year off your list. Change up your crafting atmosphere. It doesn't have to be like super expensive. You can just carve out an afternoon and just make your crafting space your own. Clean out your cos closet. It is not easy to sell cosplays that have already been used. So if you start now, you could probably get rid of most of them by December. Practice speaking, whether it's talking to strangers or public speaking. We're all just awkward otakus who are not used to the concept of having to speak and answer questions on the spot. This includes me. I am so bad at public speaking, but making YouTube videos has really helped me build that confidence. And also stop judging others and stop judging yourself. Because when you stop looking at other cosplayers and think, oh, that looks janky, that's store-bought, like, they're too fat, she's too thin, you're going to stop judging yourself. Hopefully you won't have that internal monologue, and when you stop looking at other people and immediately judging them, you're going to stop judging yourself inwardly. You're going to realize, I did great with what I had to work with. I did great with the skill set that I have. And you know what? Next time I'm gonna wear this costume, it's gonna be 10 times better. That's all I have for you this year, baby sloths. I hope you guys have a great new year. I can't wait to see all your cause plans from 2019. I can't wait to see how far you've come when we go into 2020. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe because I post a new video every Saturday. And just have a great new year and a great sloth myths.